Hi, the purpose of this little video is to demonstrate how to complete a SimNet project. So remember that there is a project for each chapter of an ebook. So we're going to focus on the project for PowerPoint Chapter 1. So you'll see this little tile, and the projects are in blue, and we'll click on that. That brings you to this page. So remember that we are going to be using Office 2019. It is important to use the correct version of Office when you complete this work. And be also be sure you start with the correct file. If you're on a Windows machine, you want to start with this instruction. If you're on a Mac, this one. And then sometimes you'll also get two different start files that you download. In this particular ebook assignment, we just have the same start file. So let me start by getting my start file open. Remember that we are going to use PowerPoint, the application, when we actually do this work. So I just enabled, I'm enabling editing, and I'm actually working in PowerPoint right now. First I Next, I need to get the instructions. I'm on a Windows computer, and so I open the instructions. You can save. At this point, I'm just opening the instructions because I do not ever need to save those, but I will need to later on, of course, save the uh, project file because I'll have to upload it for grading to SimNet. So you can see that first you get a summary of what you're supposed to learn through this particular project but down here where it's numbered that's where the actual steps start and we've already opened our start file I'm not asking you to rename it you just keep the name I do want to emphasize that this is very important you have to download your own start file and upload it for grading SimNet will not let you upload somebody else's file for grading it'll just block it and so that's something some students try, but you must do your own work with SimNet. So I've already done this step where we clicked Enable Editing, so we're ready now for this step three. It said, this is what you're going to accomplish, clear the formatting, and then it breaks it down for you. On slide one, select the text, the basics of smart saving, and then clear the formatting from the text. So we can do that. We select that. Here is the clear formatting button. Going back, change the size of text. Verify the text is still selected. Change the size of the text to 24 point. Change the size of this text. Start saving money today to 48 points. I'm just going to do that first A part. You don't need to watch me do this too much, but we need to go ahead and select 24. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this. Well, I could do the second one to, so that we have step four done. That's supposed to be 48 points. So that's an easy thing to finish. Let me go ahead and change that to 48. And now I want to uh, save the file. And I'm doing the save as so that I know where it is. It's just not in a temp. So I'll go ahead and just put it in documents. Save. So now, assuming I'd done all the steps, we'd be down here at the bottom, and it says to save and close the presentation, and now we're ready to upload and save your project file for grading. That's the part I want to demonstrate next. Obviously, we're not done, but we'll close. Now we go back to SimNet, and we're ready to upload the file, as it just said. So you have to know where you put it, I put mine in uh, Documents, and if you have a lot of files in your documents like I do, one of the quickest ways to get to it is to click on this Date Modified, and then it should be at the top. Oh, I've got too many folders there going. Well, another thing you can do is start typing it. Oh yes, mine is student student, so there we go. 
that's you would have your name there. So I've selected the file, say open, and say yes. I'm submit the file. And now SimNet is actually accomplishing the upload. And also the grading occurred when I said yes, submit. So you can see this is my score right now, 15%. And you can easily look at this and see what you have points for and what you don't. So this is very helpful, this display interface. You can, you can, when you highlight something over here, you get that kind of glow and that helps you. Or if you navigate here to the button where you've missed points, you also get a coordinating here. The reason that can be very helpful is because now you can expand and get more information. So it says change the alignment of the text in both places to be left aligned. Well, I didn't continue and do that. So I do not have points for that. The other thing I want to emphasize is that what you see here is the correct answer. Some people think that what they're looking at is their file. That is not true. You're seeing what it's supposed to look like. And any place you have a zero, that is where you still don't have points. So it's just showing me the incorrect right now and if I show the correct see I did get points for changing the fonts but that was the only thing I did I stopped after step four so in summary you can now go back to your file reopen it in PowerPoint and fix these mistakes you want to carefully look at the grading report expand each of these if you just look at the incorrect ones not the correct the incorrect ones and expand each of these and then make the changes. You can upload it for grading two more times for a total of three times and whatever percent you have after that is the grade you will have. The other thing I want to emphasize is that once you have uploaded three times for grading the tile for project Chapter 1 PowerPoint will disappear because you can no longer work on it. It will also disappear once the due date has passed, which is displayed here within the tile. I hope you found this to be helpful. Just email me if you have any more questions. Thank you.